Children, we all like to watch magic shows. We also like to perform magic tricks. And there are many events which we wonder how it happens, right? All this is based on science. Today, we are going to do a lesson, your own book of science. Before I begin, a big thank you to Jyotika and Zoya and their parents for helping me in putting this video together. A big thank you to them. So let's begin. Children, you may come across simple but amazing science experiments in magazines, newspaper supplements or on the internet. Collect any five to eight experiments you like. Ask your parents, teachers whether the experiments are safe. Then carry out the experiments. If necessary, take the help of your teachers and parents. Record the experiments on separate sheets in your own book of science. Let's start a first experiment. Lifting eyes. If you wanted to lift eyes without touching it, what would you do? Well, our friend Zoya has got magic on her hands and she's going to show us how to do it. with the thread. You can try doing this at home, dear children. Wasn't that interesting? How to turn turmeric or haldi water into red color? We have another magician in our class and that's Jyotika. She is going to show you how to do it. the water turned red because turmeric when it reacts with soap it turns red in color because it's a base uh, soap is a base or it's alkaline children you remember the marathi poem which we did garia garia bingoria tap 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 padti gara pat 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 vetsu sariya pakudu ni dharta vitlu ni gelya Gharia, Gharia, Bingoria. Gharia, Gharia, Bingoria. Yes, today we are going to learn about some puzzles in our surroundings. And what is that? Why does it hail even in summer? The poem was about hailstones. We feel very hot in summer. The sun shines brightly and the temperature is high. And then suddenly there are clouds in the sky and it starts raining. Not just water, but even small balls of ice. We say it has started hailing. The small balls of ice are called hailstones. Why does it hail in the hot summer season? As we move up from the land, the temperature begins to fall. Meaning children, as we go higher up the mountains, or on a higher altitude, it becomes cooler and cooler. That means the temperature begins to fall. It becomes lesser. Up in the sky, it is very cold, even in the hot season. You know that there are water particles in the clouds that we see in the sky. 
very high up in the sky, the water particles in the clouds turn into little bits of ice. You can see that on top of the mountain, it's quite cold. So the clouds over there are slowly turning into water particles which come together and slowly form ice. Sometimes there are strong winds in the clouds. They push these little bits of ice upward. That means the clouds which have already become water particles, they still move upward. That means the more it moves upward, the cooler it is. Like in our fridge, in our refrigerator, the freezer is cooler as compared to the lower part of our fridge. Right? So when we want to form ice, what do we do? We keep things in the freezer because the temperature there is much lower. So same thing. As the water moves upwards, it turns into little bits of ice and they do not fall to the ground. They go up, collect more particles which freeze onto them. Thus the tiny balls get bigger and bigger, you know like your gola. They turn into hailstones. The heavy hailstones then fall to the ground in the form of a shower. Now you can see how the wind is blowing and pushing the clouds upwards. Very tiny hailstones melt before they reach the ground. They turn into raindrops. But some hailstones reach the ground before they melt. A light shower of hail can be great fun. But a hailstorm can cause great damage to crops, plants and animals. You can see rain is accompanied by hailstones. Maharashtra was hit by a series of hailstorms in 2014. The hailstorms devastated thousands of acres of standing crops. Fruit crops were ruined, birds and animals were killed and injured in large numbers. Farmers suffered heavy losses. It was a natural calamity. You can see the hailstorm has destroyed the standing crop. The farmers are inspecting their crops and the damage. You can see the wheat crop has been ruined. Untimely changes in weather children can cause a lot of harm to crops and our farmers suffer a lot because of this. Zoya is going to show us how to make a lava lamp using oil, vinegar, baking soda and food colour. Craftsman. Children, we will be learning what is marbling. We have seen many a times beautiful designs and prints on papers and fabrics. 
How is this done? Let us see. Take a tub, fill three fourths of the tub with water, then add kerosene or turpentine to the oil paints so that the paints become thinner. Then sprinkle the paint on water, twirl it with your brush. You will see the paints twirling around in water. Now put the plain paper on the surface of water and press it lightly. Once you lift it, you will see colorful shapes on the sheet. Then you can clip it and allow it to dry for some time. And you can use this paper either to make envelopes, greeting cards, paper crafts, whatever. You must have noticed that oil paints dissolve in turpentine or kerosene, but not in water. They float on water. That is why we can use this technique to create fancy shapes on water. Now, why is this called marbling? You have all seen the marble stone, right? Marble is a kind of hard stone, which has got these lovely water patterns on it. Hence, this process is called as marbling. Here are some questions which I'm sure you will be interested to know more about. Where do flowers get their color from? Why are leaves green? Why does chopping an onion make you cry? What happens when you rub a comb or a plastic scale vigorously and bring it near bits of paper? Why does an object when thrown up falls back to the ground? When we open a soda water bottle, bubbles fizz out of it. Why? Why do we see a rainbow in the sky? Children, your assignment is you will take any of these three questions, write down the answer to that and post it in the group. You may take the help of the internet or the help of your parents and elders to find out the answers. If you want to show any new experiment, you are most welcome. And note down these answers and make a beautiful decorative book of signs, like a project book. Thank you children, stay safe.